Alright, welcome back. You're just in time for Operation Soaring Line. Uh, this is a UFO small landed in Japan. We don't know what we're going to be uh, hitting on this one, but we've brought a fairly decent team to balance out a few new people who we're also training up. It is a landed, not a crash, so we can expect a decent amount of resistance on this one. And because of the way pods work, you never know when you're going to get a cyber disc flung at you or like a pod of mutons or something that rookies are just going to die to. So it's good to keep it going uh, fairly safely. So hopefully we're going to train up a few people here today. Let's get down there. Let's see what the situation's like. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Pretty standard stuff here today for us on the small UFO landing. Now, we have to expect uh, a decent amount of contacts landing on a crash, expect heavy resistance, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but apart from that, we're just going to keep our eyes peeled. Our squad isn't that bad, even though we're training up a few people like, uh, like WMC. Uh, so it should be fine. Preliminary scan reveals a meld canister right here on our left flank. So it makes the choice of where to go on the three-way map pretty easy. We're going to be heading left, grabbing that meld, and then we'll be exploiting this hill as a base of fire to assault the UFO. But of course, not before we've dealt with the rest of any contact we hear on the map. This hill's a pretty good place to be, I feel. There's good cover all around it. Elevation's always a plus. Uh, and it can only be really be engaged from a side we've already explored and from the river. So ideally, if there's no patrol doubling back around us, we'll just be hitting guys in the river. Uh, the cover won't be so great, our cover should be better, and it'll give us a good spring road uh, to just launch an assault straight into the UFO once we're done. So, with that said, let's get into it. Alright, let's get this on the road. So with our squad being, let's see, we've got a strike rifle, sniper rifle, infantryman and... Oh, sorry, gunner and an infantryman, that's your base of fire. Uh, assault team is probably the two guys with shotguns, even though one of them is a medic in training. Uh, and Alex D with the alien grenade. Alex D looks amazing, by the way. If you haven't taken a good look at him yet, uh, let me feast feast your eyes on him. Alex D just looks incredible right now. I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, so, we'll probably want to be moving up to this middle point here. There's some good cover spread around. Um, and then moving left, assault team through these rocks, take the hill. I feel like keeping all my guys to the left makes me too brittle and too easily flanked on my right side. I'm going to stick AO in this position. And as of yet, no first turn contact, which is very nice. Heading out. Position confirmed. Alex D and W pretty low on health because they're not assault classes yet. So that's something to keep in mind. Pretty good spot for Verid here. I just gotta watch that I don't get flanked to my right. I wanna keep him moving up if we don't hit contact anytime soon. I don't wanna leave him back here. Alright, I'm hoping that Squint with that strike rifle is gonna be an asset on this mission. There are fairly long engagement ranges on this map. So let's hope even though she's got ballistic bullets on her bandolier, she does a good job with that strike rifle. She's got the helmet, she's gonna be okay. She's got Kamikaze's helmet. Now we do hear thin men out there. Let's see if I can't move up with hastiness on this meld canister on the left. That's affirmative. Always nice to scout with a run and gun assault because you can just pop run and gun. Moving out. To put them into cover and start firing, thereby not wasting their turn quite as much. Heading there now. As you would if you were using someone else. It's been a while since we've been on this map, but I think there was thin men to start last time too. If I'm not entirely mistaken, but okay. looks like we're not going to have the exact same activation this time. Now that's nice, give me some more cover if I get flanked for Verid. And the rest of us can just keep moving up. Moving 
Keep it fast, squad. Let's keep it fast. Okay. The telltale sound of alien alloy on the right. Kamikaze here's thin men stepping on the UFO. So we're going to stay away from that. Which means if we're lucky, we're going to have a clean shot to this melt. Solid copy. Might have to throw a dash in here to make that happen. Let's uh, let's go ahead and let's move the rest of the squad up first, just here, if I can. I'm not gonna want to go right. I don't want to reveal those aliens, so we might end up conga lining it here. Alex D, why don't you scout that out? So Alex D, for those who aren't familiar, here let me move up. We'll go. No reveal, you do get to hear a story. Alex D, for those who aren't familiar, he's from my Twitch campaign. I'm on it, he's a blue shirt, base defense, you know, security guy. Guy who probably spends as much time throughout the year sweeping the base as he does doing security, right? These people aren't expecting to hit contact anytime soon. XCOM base is, like, in a super secret location. Who would ever find it? Base defense happens. Alex D answers the call. Now, I'll save you all the details. I will say that base defense on Twitch is highlighted. Um, but suffice to say, Alex D's like cowering in the corner, right? Well, he's not actually panicked, but he's... Well, was he? I think he might have... I, I don't know. I think what happened, if I'm trying to remember it, is like Partisan, my Master Sergeant Rocketeer, is like pinned down, panicked. There's a berserker coming in for her. That's right, Bull Rush just took out some other blue shirt in fucking full cover. He's dead out of nowhere. Berserker comes out of the fog, I didn't even see him. Bull rush, blue shirt's dead. Uh, but uh, Master Sergeant Partisan, the Rocketeer, is just freaking out in half cover. She's panicked. The, the Berserker's about to kill her. Alex Z, the blue shirt, runs up point blank to the Berserker to draw aggro from Partisan. Heroic. Fucking heroic. He shoots the thing in the face. And I shit you not, this Berserker takes one look at him and runs the other way and jumps off a fucking gurney, off a, off a fucking balcony. Uh, and, and Alex D, despite being like surrounded by a fucking berserker toe to toe of him, somehow survives. Then a muton walks up, shoots him out of cover, and Alex D bleeds out, and we end up stabilizing him. Uh, and ever since, that he's the guy who panicked a berserker. The man's uh, amazing to me. And here he is, reincarnated in the. Um, well, he's not dead in Twitch yet, but here he is in a new form in my Live and Impossible campaign. He's a very white guy in my Twitch campaign. <laughs> With a very white voice, not like uh, Mr. T at all, who a lot of commenters have been pointing out, Alex D looks like Mr. T now. He does get to go on the A-team. Anyway, back to the mission, but... I thought I should explain what Alex D means to me. Whether he'll be any good in this, remains to be seen. I hope he stays alive, he means a lot to me. Headed there now, that's what we're looking for. Alright. We're making pretty good time on this meld canister. If I, uh, if I can get out here next turn, and it's not a reveal, I'm gonna run and gun to grab it, and then we'll wait for run and gun to recharge. Roger that. Duck here to the Move it out, chumps. Good to go. Oh, don't run that way. Jesus, Alex. You're crazy. Alright, and yes, let's definitely keep Verid with us at this point. No need to ask twice. Headed there now. Double move, get up into cover. Moving. No reason not to. Save some movement. And hey, if floaters come over this rise, it'll be handy. You hear that? No, I hear it. You got good ears, W, but I hear it too. I'd say we've got another turn to grab this. People are asking in the comments, how do you know if it's about to expire? I never knew until someone described it to me, uh, very helpfully. Listen to that pulsing noise. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. That noise. The faster that goes, the closer it is to expiring. So when you start hearing whoa, 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 it's about to expire. And that's, as far as I know, the only way you can tell with the meld. 
Pretty cool to know, though. Okay. We're going to test that right now, because I'm pretty certain that's not as fast as it gets, and I, I should be able to prove to you guys that's how it works by not using the running gun. Meanwhile, we'll stick uh, Verid and Cover up here to cover us, and we'll start taking this hill. Yes. Yes. Move it, Jedi. Let's go. That's not the cover you're looking for. So we know all about those thin men right there. Moving out. Six meld, very juicy. Now before we make any big moves, probably smart to get our sniper in position. That is a perfect spot right there. Let's get uh, Verid in position first. Now that he's ready to cover, I don't believe there's any other meld on the map that I saw, so we can take this turn, just get ready. So our next movement, we're going to prep our movement for the next move. Next movement can be to here. We want our heavy shooters to be able to get into good position, so that's corner cover. We want Kamikaze to be able to hit that position. It means moving Squint to make that possible. Get out of the way, Squint. Kamikaze needs to come on through. Right there, that's going to be an easy spot for a suppression. If Ewa can move up to that tree, that would be nice. But I also need him here in case I make an activation to shoot twice, so we'll leave him where he is. So Alex D can be ready to move yes, up Commander. and grenade instead. Got it covered. I What in Teufel was that? Alright, let's keep moving it up. Nicely done. Should make this a... We'll move to here. Clear out that left flank of the assault means you're not going to activate on your left, so you can safely move up here because you know your activation is going to be to the right or that front right. In turn, let's just move up Awo a little bit. Uh, squint, just go get ready with Kamikaze, I guess. Stick with him. You work as a base of fire and a couple. I'm all over it. Alex D on the left. That's affirmative. Keep that shotgun to the assault team. You're a medic, maybe, but you're a shotgun of the today, W. Come, come. And of course, steady aim on your sniper. That tree's in the way, that could get annoying. Oh, Alright, at this point, let's try to take over this hill, I'd say. Heading to that location. Cursory clearing of our left side, just to make sure it doesn't bite us in the ass, and then everyone else is really just focusing to move up on the hill. And we're going to try and use those elevation bonuses, those clear sight lines, and that heavy cover tree. And the best thing about this hill, if you get in a lot of trouble, just fall back behind here, and you're safe. That's probably one of the best facets of this hill. Faucets. Facets. Words. Solid copy. Alex D, keep that big boom toy right up near the front. We're gonna need that. And probably to clear line of sight, gonna move Verit up a little bit. Verit will be much more effective on this hill. I need to make Jedi king of the hill here, because back there he's got all these trees in the way. Now you can hear they're not on UFO anymore, and they're right here. You don't hear any water. You hear footsteps on ground. There's a river back here. So they're either not on the water, or that's not how it works and I'm an idiot, or they're right here, because that's not UFO ground, this is hard ground. So we could have Thin Men very, very close. I don't want to activate them until I'm ready. So to do that, I'm going to put Kamikaze up here. He's not going to activate, but he probably would have if they were there. I, re I revealed a tile. Not sure how I feel about Heading that. There now. Lucky, I suppose. We'll get Awo into a position as well. Should be able to step out left and right of that tree. If not, fuck me. Squint's ready. We're going to leave Alex D in the assault on the left. Shotzi's ready. Uh, and at this time... Hmm. 
maybe leave him where he is right now. It, it's hard. He's He hasn't got anywhere good to move up to just yet. But, uh, you know what? I'll move him up because next turn I can put him in good position. De acuerdo. And that's that. <laughs> now, where are those men? Are they close? That's the question. Squint, move it right. I'm gonna put Kamikaze right one. Give Ao the best position because he can't move and shoot effectively. Kamikaze can. Varid. Ah, oh, Varid should take that rock. I'm gonna stick Varid in the middle where Ao was before. Hopefully, he can step out left and right, like I was saying. W stick here. These two are gonna scout out left next turn. Outsider pod. You hear that? Hopefully one outsider. I say pod because late game you get more of them in these UFOs. It's not very nice. Okay. That's affirmative. No thin man there. Interesting. So now I want to take these trees, spread our line out, wait for a patrol probably. A little bit concerned about taking this tree because the outsider could come at me though. Probably better to go hunt the Thin Man pod instead, they're around to the right. Uh, it sounds like the outsider isn't going to be at the door, so we can safely spread out between these trees quite easily. So we'll start coming back. Heading out. I'm on Alex is going to come around, and we're going to start heading in that direction. So far, so good. Keep heading right. We're kind of heading back towards the spawn now, I'm aware of that, but... It's worth it to clear out this corner to make this hill safe to use, and it's worth it to grab that meld, of course. Now, if I can get able to this position, Vera could take this tree, and that's a much better position for him. Or even this one. The only reason I wouldn't take it right now is because it stops Aero from stepping out to the right, which stops him from engaging. Headed there now. Good to go. That's affirmative. Where are those thin men and what are they doing? Can't really afford to throw my scanner yet. Yeah, Alright. Looks like we should be able to take that tree, but at this point, I hear thin on my right in the bushes. Where are the bushes? You got some bush here, bush here. They're probably patrolling right at that UFO right now. I need to get uh, I need to get on that. Set up some Overwatch while I still can. Verity, you can take that spot. Move it up, Jedi. If that is your real name. Yoshi there. Everyone else, move it up. That's affirmative. Heading to that location. Heading to that location. I feel, Commander. Overwatch. Here we go. There they are. What did I tell you? Right in the bushes. Four of them, too. Ah! Oh! You are the Ubermensch. Oh, shit. Three left. Now we got a new pod. One, two, three. Count it. Good shooting, people! Come on, Squint. Yes! Oh my god, yes! So we got a total of five Thin Men up right now. Two down on some very good shooting uh, off the bat there. Alright, now this will be a good time maybe to scan. Definitely to move up, but if I move up too far to get vision, it is going to probably attract the Outsider. I'm going to move over to this position to start. Okay. He can't see anything where he is anyway. It might be time for a battle scanner. I'm really not certain on that. Because if I had a scanner, I really can't engage anything right now. And that's quite annoying. These Thin Men are going to come up to the heavy cover. Acid me. And I'm just going to be... You know, there's there's going to be nothing I can do about it. I think some of them stopped in the open. So if I could get some of them now, uh, it would really help. So let's move LXD back. Throw that scanner in. We'll deal with... We'll deal with uh, Seekers with the grenade if if it goes that way. 
Where do I want to throw that scan? That's no good. It's going to have to be here. I don't think they went left. I think they went in the middle and right. So this should catch a few of them, at least. All right, so there you go. Yeah, they're not in the open. They're on that half cover. But, and Verid can't even see any of them anyway. But I can reposition to get him in, the, uh, in cover. And it does kind of reveal that if AO sits there on overwatches, he should be able to catch one as it moves to the heavy cover. So I'll probably overwatch with him, and we'll go for an overwatch turn. That's a leader, you got to watch out for that. If I move up on the left here... Oh, it's just going to bait. It's going to bait an acid if I do that. We'll just get in position. Maybe be throwing a smoke here. Maybe not. Tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll stop moving your yeah. right, Squint. You'll probably be flanking someone next turn. Maybe smoke these two guys because they're right in the line of fire. Along with uh, Drake. Drake can move far right, maybe. Drake's going to get focused because she's got that 7 less defense because of reinforced armor. So wherever I put her, I, I want to make sure that um, you know I'm not letting them just hit her because she will be easy to hit. So I might put her here to bait shots, even with the smoke. That's affirmative. You don't have smoke grenade as an action, do you? No. So I'll have to move you back to properly use that. Moving. Or else you're going to be in the line of fire, and we don't need that. Now you got to watch your smokes. Um, smoke. The the circle lies to you. It's not actually a circle. It's I think it's like five across. Uh, or something like it's uh, it, it doesn't work on the edges like a sphere it works like a cross so I want to put it like th this I think I think that's how I want to put it to catch all of the people in the smoke otherwise it's gonna miss people let's see smoke out and I think I fucked it up and to use the dense smoke. I got AWO. But not Drake. Well, there you go. So these guys are up to 65 defense. That's good. I can hunker with Drake. Uh, and still draw fire. That's 53. She's got extra damage resistance. And these guys still have better defense. So she's still going to get shot at. That's really helpful. Um, we'll move Verid to be in a better position to shoot next turn. Overwatch. Overwatch. Because you're in the smoke as well. Squint, I don't know what to do with you. Um, Alex D needs coverage, so you may as well overwatch. I don't think they're going to get that far to hit Alex D, but better safe than sorry if they do. Alright, here comes this guy. Pretty good shot. Remember, we're dealing with five thin men right now. Five thin men. I see it, Squint. Ah! Oh. It's it's the heart. It's the soulmate thing. When Kamikaze hits on Overwatch, Squint hits. When Kamikaze misses, Squint misses. You guys got to do your own thing. All right. Now we did get the acid there, which I was a bit concerned about. But I felt it was worth it for the smoke. We'll see if I t see if it turns out that I was right. Maybe I was wrong. A lot of double moves here from the Thin Man, which is handy. Not a lot of Overwatch. I can probably make this work for me. Uh, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we haven't seen the fifth guy. I don't know where he is. But we do have two over here that are begging for a grenade. Verid uh, has eyes on all of them. And even though these two are a bit... Uh, effed up by having the acid on them now. I can move up and heal one of them with W, and luckily they didn't acid AWO, who's got good shots on uh, a considerable number of people here. Now, this guy is pretty much dead to AWO. Then I can shoot right or Overwatch or Suppress and to deal with that guy. Squint can shoot that guy. Squint's got Hollow. Varid... Let's see, you can probably kill that guy. You're probably best served trying to kill that guy off the back. 
Actually, no, of critical is probably the guy behind that rock, because you're in range to crit him. And then what would that leave Drake to do? If I heal Drake, Drake could move up and flashbang the last one to make him easy to deal with. Now, if I kill these two without needing Alex D's grenade, that also means he can just move up and shoot. And we can save that grenade for a more pressing contact. Uh, I like the look of it. Let's start off with this kid. I'm gonna shoot your ass. Hello. I, I need to stop talking in the first person, because I didn't shoot that guy. AWO shot him. Sometimes I forget that. Now, do I want to just take a shot here? Yes, I think that guy probably has lightning reflexes if he's a leader. I'd rather just shoot, deal with him another way if uh, if I need to. Fantastic, AWO. Absolutely fantastic. Alright. Now, who else are we going to deal with? Worst case, if I kill at least one of these guys with Verid, uh, I can just... Here, take that shot. I can just suppress the other one. 72 is not bad. Very nice. Use the force, Varid. And that just leaves us needing to suppress the last one. But of course, don't forget, there is a fifth thin, uh, a fifth, 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 fifth thin man out there. And I don't see him on the right. I can cover with Squint with Overwatch, but it's not going to do much. So what I'm probably going to want to do is move up with W. Um, ah, not a lot of cover to do so. But move up with W. Heal Kamikaze so Kamikaze can suppress. Can't really get in there though. Unless I take this position and then it leaves me open to a flank on the left. Now, all the Thin Men scattered to the right. So they shouldn't be able to make it to here. To get me. There shouldn't be anyone there to do that. So I should be able to make that maneuver. As long as I keep this guy suppressed. Let's go ahead and do that. Solid copy. <laughs> what the hell was that? Don't worry, you're fine. You got a med kit. It's all right. So let's heal up Kamikaze. Med kits fix everything. Calm down. And then he can move up. We don't have eggs. And suppress that cat. Hiding on. Keep a lock down. Drake's gonna have the chill. Alex hasn't got a lot to do either. I might move him onto the right side yeah. so that he can watch for a far right uh, maneuver. And you know what? Sure. Let's just go ahead and Overwatch for the right guy. I feel I feel like the fifth guy's on the right somewhere. Overwatch. And we haven't seen that fifth guy yet. I didn't kill him, did I? It was five. I'm not crazy. Well, let's just deal with this guy first. If I can get a holo targeting shot on him, uh, that's going to make it pretty easy for everyone else to clean him up. There you go, set it up. Uh, does Ewa have lock and load? He does, but then he can't see the guy. Let's see here. Kinda need to keep suppressing of Kamikaze. Oh, unless Verid can hit it. What do you got, Verid? Use the force again. Ah! Verid, you've turned off your targeting computer. What's wrong? Alright, move up on the right, Alex. You're gonna have to stay right there. You're gonna have to suppress. Ava can move right to Overwatch. Uh, and we should be pretty golden. Suppress that guy. Probably actually a better idea to cover from the from the left here, just in case the other thin man is doing some crazy dash on the left. I say just in case because it's that's that's a very strange thing for them to be doing at this point. But you never know. All right, then let's just put W here. One percent, sadly, not good enough a shot to take. We'll overwatch. Hunker. Hunker. And I don't wanna I don't wanna out defense W, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit turn with Drake. I don't wanna hunker. Yeah. 
Now I need to get off this left tree cover because I'm going to get punished for that soon. We haven't seen that other Thin Man for a while. And I am going to get punished for that, so... At least we should now be able to put Ewo down in a position where he can suppress if Kamikaze can't. Squint's going to apply some Pistol Hollow, the best kind. I'm going to put Ewo in position. Oh, Ewo still can't see. That is shitty. Because Kamikaze's out of ammo now. So, uh, Verid, you better hope you hit. Mm-hmm. Alright. Guy still ain't dead, though. And I got people in heavy cover with, uh... No smoke now. Annoying. You're still gonna have to chill. Might be worth moving right and smoking. Just to keep these people extra safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's run it right, W. Okay. Can you hit smoke on that tree? You can. That'll be useful. So go ahead and pop out of smoke right about there. And Alex D, assume that forward position. Heading there now. Kinda getting worried about this other thin man on the right, don't know where he's going. Got it covered. Alright, now this guy should maybe take a run at me, or he could run away. Either way, I was betting on Overwatch to save me if he ran up. Now it's on us to kinda move up on him. But I do need to reload, so maybe I'll just let him do what he wants for the moment. Put my Overwatches in better position to uh, capitalize on him if he comes back. Drake's able to move again, which is really good. Aye, aye. Can move up Drake to screen for us. Let's position Either. Squint back to reload. Position Alex oh, back to watch that right flank. I'm really paranoid about it. W can Not hunker on this tree to scout for me. You see there. And let's just put people in positions where they can overwatch right here. That one health uh, thin man. Reload. Mm-hmm. Alright, now what's your play, Thin Man? Your play is to do nothing. That's genius. I've done it myself many times. I can't complain. We're gonna get eyes on him again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. It will allow us to put people in position in heavy cover to overwatch though, which is definitely superior. Heading out. And we're gonna keep checking this right side of Alex D. I don't want any nasty surprises. Moving to position. Come get some. All right, all what right. Was that? <laughs> the Thin Men have decided to just bug out at this point. I mean, it's honestly not a bad idea considering the situation they're in. It just makes my life harder. I have to do a lot of due diligence now to watch my flanks. Because they've been gone for a long time and they could be they could be very far away at this point. I'm on it, Commander. At this point, I kind of need to start taking better care of Verid. I need to watch out for him because he too could be getting snuck up on. And we don't want that, obviously. We, yes, we don't want that. They are allowing me to get in slightly better positions. That's a plus. Headed there now. So what I'm probably going to want to do here is put Verid back up to this position and just hunker him. Hunk up. Overwatch. Overwatch. Hunker. Hunker. And if they get to this point, they're flanking. So Overwatch of Alex D. These are the wiliest thin men I've fought in a long time. Either. I hesitate to say genius because running away isn't that clever, but it's still pretty smart Rolling. given uh, given how some aliens like to act. 
on my way. Getting it done. Still in the UFO too. Alright, here we go, here we go. Nice. I see you, little buddy. I see you. But no one else can see you. Verit hasn't got eyes on. And he, and he won't be able to. Really not a lot I can do here. It's a clever move, but I can move right to get out of it. I can I can jink to my right to get out of this situation. And then I can just overwatch him as he runs up to the door, and that should be the end of it. That's affirmative. As long as I keep this right side covered, uh, everything should be fine. Alright, so we need to clear to the right here. I need to move Squint so that position is open. Okay. I'm still sure there was another Roger Thin Man, that. right? I'm, I'm not crazy. I'm not. Aye, aye. Whoa, bullshit! No, you can't even see me! That was the point! Alright, well... Line of sight works that way, I guess. Um, we're, let's just count our lucky stars that Drake didn't get hit any harder than her armor rating, or we'd be facing another sick bay visit for her. Well, fuck you, I've cleared your overwatch, now I'm gonna take advantage of that. You little shit. You just fucked up, you should've just let me walk away. Now I'm gonna punish you. Alright, now I'm gonna suppress and overwatch. Ooh, ooh, where's your friend? Is that you making that noise? Um, actually no need to suppress and overwatch. Probably just take a shot here. I don't know where his friend is at this point, but if he wants to show up or not, that's his, uh, that's his prerogative. Pharaoh can just cover if he does show up. Oh, you little dick! This Zen man just doesn't give a shit. Not even the leader. Alright, I need to get Squint in a position to help here if I can. No, I'm not going to be able to. Would have been nice to apply that holo targeting. But we're just going to have to rely on AO being a boss instead. Um... This time. Second time. There you go. Not a problem. Eat Popsicle. Cover from the back now that Kamikaze's wounded. Squint doesn't know yet, that's why Squint didn't panic. Squint didn't see Kamikaze get wounded yet. It's all down to whether or not I believe that there is a fifth Thin Man. And I do believe it very strongly that there still is a fifth Thin Man out there somewhere. I do believe that. He's out there and it's scary that he's out there. Position confirmed. Quite scary. Heading to that location. Alright. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Savage little fight, but we're coming out of it okay. Hey, Well, I mean, if I don't see him for long enough, what can I do, really? Where could he have gone? I, I just need to keep, uh... I just need to keep moving up on the right side here. Scouting. Because this is the only place he really could have gone, I believe. We're green to go. That or left. Which is why I keep hunkering my sniper. Instead of steadying my aim. Moving to position. Moving to position. On 
There he is. I knew it. I knew I wasn't crazy. What are you doing in there, Terry? Terry man. Oh, he is running for my sniper. I told you I wasn't crazy. I told you. Alright, well we need to get over there and support him. As long as uh, Kamikaze can get eyes on this, should be an easy kill no matter what. But we'll start with AOR. And there you go. Just like that, the firefight's over. Seven thin men down. Uh, some nasty hits to our squad, but by the grace of Solomon and Gupta, um, we've only taken armor damage, which is going to be good for our post-mission breakdown. So this UFO was run by seven thin men, I guess. It would have been cute. It would have been cute to see them all at their little workstations. Because, I mean, I, I never think about this, but when you think about it, the, you know, this is the crew. They were flying this UFO. They didn't come here just to land and, like, sniff the grass. They, these guys are actually drafted as a UFO crew. So, like, I mean, the outsider pilots it, obviously. He's, he's up on the flight computer. But then, what are the thin men doing? There's seven of them. So there's probably one of, one of each on the external uh, nav computers. You got, like, Scotty, engineer thin man, who's managing the power source. What the hell are the other four doing? What, what do they even do? Serve peanuts? Clean up blood spills. I think there's a doorman probably. Maybe a couple of them. Now they're just there to be bodyguards. Maybe one of them's really funny, and that's why they bring him. I don't know, but I'm gonna start doing that in every UFO mission. I'm gonna start thinking how much sense the crew makes. But with that said, um, I'm not hearing any other enemies. That was two pods. It might be time to go in for the outsider now. We know he's about here, so a smart breach would be to come around the left side, breach from this side of your assaults. Have your infantry and gunners ready here to pop out and just catch him in a nice little flank where he can't really go anywhere. So we're gonna start working on that. I knew you shouldn't have given me this helmet. Look at you. No, it's just it's just not even a flesh wound. It just it just scuffed my armor up. Oh no, 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 look, you got a bit here. That's blood. No, it's just rust. It's just rust. Stop fussing. You're making me look bad in front of AO. <laughs> Nerds. So, we're on final approach now. Uh, the team here, here's them. Uh, here's the outsider right next to this computer. I guess he's trying to take off again or something. So hopefully I can just sneak in on the right here. Without an activation. Affirmativo. Just getting ready for the big time here. Squint, no, that is not... <laughs> that is not how you hold that weapon. Why do people keep doing this? That is not how it's done. Don't point it at him, Jesus. Doesn't make it any better. All right, I'm gonna put Verid like in this position. Yeah, boy. The idea is to step out right and shoot without putting them in a position where I'm gonna reveal the outsider early. There you go. And Alex, just heading out. Just come a little closer. Alright, here we go. Breach time. 
What's making that noise? What indeed? What indeed it is making that noise? Okay, time to get Kamikaze up in position. Go, honey. X-rays gesichtet. There he be. There he be. What did I tell ya? All right. Sometimes I gotta bathe in my own pre-planning. All right. It's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. He ca he has a shot. Tell you Jesus didn't make that shot work. XCOM Jesus. So we'll pop Squint around here, take an easy flank. I want to see if Alex D can get this kill. Bring you up here. Aye, aye, Commander. Alex D right up close. All over Run and gun you. Going in for the kill. Uh huh. Location confirmed. Drake's just like, you know what, you fuckers play your little game. I know you like to play the who can kill the outsider game. I'm just gonna be here when it goes wrong. I'm gonna clean it up. And you know what, Squint, give everybody holo targeting the start. Take your shot. Alright. Alex D, do you have what it takes to win a million dollars? There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Everything by the numbers. Everything quite literally by the numbers. Operation Soaring Line complete. Luckily, only on luck did we not take any health damage. Um, but then again, only on bad luck did some of those shots really hit us. Um, but yeah, there we go. Canister Ameld. Seven Thin Men dead. One Outsider discharged into Dorito Crystal Powder. Uh, and one very confused me, still trying to work out what exactly all the Thin Men had as jobs on the UFO. I can't say I've ever seen an operation go that smoothly. Excellent work, Commander. <laughs> President Squint? My god, that's amazing. President Squint. Alright, well... I, I don't even... I can't even begin to imagine the story behind that. And Pabellum WMC, there you go. Promotions for Alex D, Scout Sniper. Are you kidding me with this shit? That's incredible. He's a sniper in the, uh... He's a sniper in the Twitch campaign, too. It's so weird how that happens. But I guess he could be a scout now. No, I think what happened in the Twitch campaign is I hit random on him and it gave him... Out of all the classes it could have given Berserker panicking Alex D, it gave him sniper. Well, I think we'll do something a bit different with BA... BA Baracus Alex D. I think I'll hit random on him, too. I, I don't really want to make a, a scout out of him. Or, uh, I'm, I'm gonna hit random. I'm gonna do it right now. Oh my god! You can't keep... <laughs> Random keeps giving the baddest dude in XCOM the jobs that are out of the way of the fight. Well, Alex D's a medic now. Damn it if he's not going to be the most amazing medic you've ever seen. This dude is going to put the he in healing. I almost didn't make that joke in time. That was very close. That's why it wasn't a very good one. Um, Drake up the tech sergeant. Very good. What do we got? So I can make Drake into a, an extra conditioning tank and spanker. Or I can just go for uh, Killer Instinct. Probably not the best choice considering with Close Encounters. I'm often using Close Encounters and doesn't work with Close Encounters because it has to prop run and gun. Um, Ranger, never. Probably going to be extra conditioning. And then on Squint, it's it's really got to be Battle Scanners. Um, I'm trying to think in what circumstance would I take Flush on a Scout. Um... And I'm thinking. No, it's just really got to be battle scanners. And there you go. Uh, medic up to Corporal with WMC, Pabellum. Um, and that's probably going to be Smoke Grenade. Uh, I don't see any point in making... In, in pretending your medics are infantry when they don't do the job as well as infantry do. So, don't see any point in that. Paramedic is cool, but Smoke ultimately is going to be more useful. All right, and there you go. Nice successful mission. Lots of alloys, lots of Illyrium. Intact power sources and computers make me very happy. A few weapon fragments, seven Thin Men corpses. Uh, let's just say that was a good time. Let's see. Um, with three days left on time zone, I'm going to start upgrading this guy to laser cannon. Get a laser cannon in your coral. Um, meanwhile... Slash Urban's about to come up, and then with Porter, that's going to be two laser cannons defending North America. 
uh, we've just had some UFOs, so we're hoping, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of leeway while we get our fleet upgraded. Someone said, why don't you, uh, why don't you equip the laser cannon to the repairing birds and then, you know, it'll be done at the same time. I think I tried that and it's cumulative, so, for example, if I put a laser cannon on Time Zone Zhao right now, it wouldn't be seven days and, you know, it wouldn't be this, it, better, better example, if I put it on Shotgun Steinhoff, right, put the laser cannon on him, I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is it's going to take, um, it's, it's going to take seven days to rearm still, and then it'll do the repairs, or the other way around, so it'll be 17 days, it's additive, that's why I'm not bothering doing that. Um, but, I'll test it again, it, it's, it's fair enough that I should test it again. Uh, so we'll stick one on, we'll stick one on Steinhoff. Alright. Now seven days, so just remember if after seven days, if it's not three days left, it doesn't work. There you go. Easy. Uh, meanwhile, I think it's time to just keep on going. Keep, uh, keep expecting that terror mission that I totally haven't forgotten about. Um, how badly do I need engineers? I do have a lot of alloys. 40 engineers. I don't know, that's like two suits of armor. I'm probably... I do desperately need engineers at this point. I can't be too choosy. I'm still getting everything set up, you know. I still kind of need engineers. I will need alloys later, but I did get the alloy conservation thing, so I'm going to have more. It's like 80 bucks for two engineers, man. It's, it's not terrible. Meanwhile, we're still trying to get this support, too. You can't have my mutons. Sorry, I'm just, it's been a, been a few days since I played. Um, you know, I'm not going to umanar over this forever. I'm just going to get the engineers. That's how you add them up. You keep stacking them up like that. Okay. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Alright, Cordoba, Argentina. It's a roadway. Better have some good snipers ready. Iku is ready. I'll probably take a good rocketeer as well. Well, you know the drill, guys. I'm going to set up a team for this mission. I'll get right back to you. Alright, so the team is a pretty good one, considering we've got the uh, swarming difficulty on this one. Roadway, so I'm taking the strike rifle and the scout. I really need- I, I don't even need to tell you that, guys, anymore. When it's a long range map, you're gonna see me take the strike rifle and the scout. Uh, until- when it changes, when I start taking shotguns on, on, on long range maps, I'll tell you. But for now, I'm enjoying the strike rifle. Um, let's just focus on things that are different. Not a lot. Tete, the Terminal Lance, is finally hopefully going to level up after this mission. Just bring those two alien grenades, bring the shotgun because the scout isn't. Renzel with the Ranger rockets should be pretty helpful on this long-range roadway map. I mean, it's it's really pretty simple stuff. You've heard me say it a million times. This is a very standard squad. Morgan of the Reinforced Arm of the Tank. A couple of flashbangs. You know, it's, it's all very standard. All I can say is let's get out there. Let's have a great mission. Visual on the mission site. Setting down. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. The aliens are continuing to target civilians for abduction in several major cities across the globe. We have to get down there and deploy as soon as possible. Probably one of the dickiest roadway maps. Not just for how compact it is, but also for the fact that this truck in the middle really messes with squad site sniper line of sight. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and get the easier spawn, hopefully. Anyway, that's for next time. Join me next time for Operation Vengeful Gaze. Until then, hey, have a good one.